Bud and Costello program, starring Bud Abbott and Lou Costello, brought to you by Camel, the cigarette of costlier, properly aged tobaccos. The Abbott and Costello program, with the music of Carl Hoff and his orchestra, our singing star Amy Arnell, and spotlighting that chunky, chubby little cherub who went caught putting a sheet of metal in his Uncle Artie Stebbins' pants because he heard him say he was sitting on pins and needles, calmly said, I'm a bad boy! Well, Costello. Hey, Costello. What's the idea? What's the idea of walking in here late? Come on. You know you're late. Explain yourself. Where have you been? Well, I was listening to my cousin Hugo giving a very important speech on the coal shortage. He said, gentlemen, due to the coal shortage, we must save electricity. I beg you not to use electricity. Please don't even turn on the electricity. Did they uh, listen to him? No, the warden threw the switch anyway. (laughs) Well, never mind your cousin Hugo. Do you realize there's been a woman waiting for you here for the last hour? Oh, there you are at last, Mr. Costello. I could hardly wait till you got here. I've been simply dying to see you. And at last, here you are. At last, here we are. You and I, face to face. (laughs) Watch it, lady. That vacuum is sucking the laces out of my shoe. (laughs) Mr. Costello, I am Mrs. Sylvia Saddlesoap, and I've been sent out here from your hometown. You're from in New Jersey? Don't tell me you're little Sylvia stuff. Yes, don't you remember we used to play together in that little park? Oh, yes. I'll bet it's a big park now. And we went to school together in that little red school. I'll bet it's a big school now. <laughs> yes, and remember the day when I was five years old and you turned me across your knee and spanked me? Yep. Time marches on. <laughs> Mrs. Saddles, so uh, what brings uh, you to California? Oh, that's the thrilling news I have. Oh, yeah. I'm the president of the Woman Voters League, and we want Mr. Costello to run for mayor of South Patterson, New Jersey. South Patterson, New Jersey? Abbott, did you hear that? Yeah. They want me to be mayor of South Patterson. I'll be another LaGuardia. No. <laughs> Wait a minute, LaGuardia was a great man. They call him the Little Flower. Well, it's the same thing with me. Oh, people would call you the Little Flower? No, the big stinkweed. Oh, <laughs> You simply must run for mayor. We want someone who is strong and manly. In that case, I'll run. We want a man who is handsome and intellectual. In that case, I'll run. And we want a man who will donate $10,000 to the Women Voters League. In that case, you slowed me down to a walk. (laughs) Mr. Saddlesoap, can't you get somebody that's better qualified than Costello to run for mayor? Well, my husband was thinking of running, but he's such a busy man. You see, he has a seat on the stock exchange, and he also has a seat on the city council. Your husband has two seats? Yes. Does Ripley know about this? (laughs) Mr. Costello. Mr. Costello, now you simply must run. I'm going right out now and call South Patterson and tell them that you are leaving on the midnight train. Oh, Mr. Costello, this is all so thrilling. Oh! That time she got my socks. <laughs> well, Abbott, we gotta get packed right away. We're leaving on the midnight train for Patterson. Wait a minute, Costello. You can't run for public office. You don't know anything about politics. Oh, sure I do. I come from a family of politicians. My uncle Artie Stevens was a politician in Texas. What did he run for? Huh? What did he run for? The border. The border. Oh no. <laughs> to be a mayor, to be a mayor, you, mayor, you have to be educated. How high did you get in school? How high did I get? Yes. I never touched the stuff. You know, no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, did you, go to, did you go to high school? Oh, yeah, I went for a whole week. Uh, did, you learn any, did you learn anything that would help you? Oh, sure, but you can't make a career out of nicking. Oh, no. <laughs> I bet you don't even know the alphabet. Oh, yes, I do. Let's hear it. The alphabet is A, B, Q, W, Z. Where did you learn... Where did you ever learn the alphabet that way? When I went to get my eyes tested. <laughs> well, I can't on, see Anna. that. Come on, we're leaving for Patterson, New Jersey tonight on a midnight train. You ready to go, kid? Wait a minute. Here we go. Choo choo, choo choo. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me play choo choo train. Now listen, you can't. You just I'm can't. I'm going Patterson. Bound. Will you keep quiet, please? <laughs> Never mind where you're bound for. You can't just leave on a train like that. 
Uh, have you got a reservation? A reservation? Yeah. What do I look like, an Indian? No, 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 no. <laughs> if you're going all the way to Patterson, you'll have to have a Pullman. You know, old someplace to sleep. Oh, that's easy. I eat garlic. That's all right. What has eating garlic got to do with getting a place to sleep? I just breathe in the conductor's face and he gives me a wide berth. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll tell you what you do, Castell. Let me handle this, huh? Go ahead. Now, in order to save money, we'd better get a couple of upper berths. Yeah, but I don't want an upper. I want a lower. But, Costello, do you realize that if you buy a lower, you'll find it's much higher than an upper? Oh, sure. Everybody knows that when you... What did you say? I said that a lower is higher than an upper. A lower is higher than an upper? Oh, certainly. What are they doing? Running the trains upside down? <laughs> of course not. The lower is the more desirable berth. Therefore, if you want to uh, go lower, you have to go higher. If I want to go lower, I have to go higher? Why should I, why should I go higher when I want to go lower? Costello, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you they sell the upper lower than the lower. Because when you sleep in an upper, you have to get up to go to bed. I have to get up to go to bed? Uh, that's right. Who's paying for my birth? Well, you are. And there ain't nobody in it for me? No. Then why do I have to get up? No, look, Costello, I'll, I've already explained it to you that way. Look, unless you go higher for a lower, then you're stuck with an upper, and you'll have to get up when you go to bed. And you'll have to get down when you want to get up. Abbott, let me smell your breath. <laughs> can't, you under, can't you understand anything, you dummy? If you want to go lower, you have to go higher, because the lower is higher than the upper. And the reason the lower is higher than the upper is because the upper is higher up than the lower. Oh, you mean that the upper is lower than the lower because the lower is higher than the upper? Now you've got it. Now I've got it. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You could fly over any route on any airline in the United States and at practically any populated point, look out of the window and there would be a place covered by this great survey of doctors I want to tell you about. A survey so thorough that it covered 113,597 doctors, doctors in every state of the Union, doctors in every branch of medicine. So thorough, it took the combined efforts of three leading independent research organizations. What cigarette do you smoke, doctor? That was the query. And the results? Well, the cigarette named most was Camel's. Again, the rich, full flavor and cool mildness of Camel's superb blend of costlier tobaccos won nationwide recognition. Yes? According to a recent nationwide survey, more doctors smoke Camel's than any other cigarette. <laughs> For camel fans everywhere, Carl Hoff and the orchestra play Seems Like Old Times. Away coat. Well, if I'm going back to Patterson, New Jersey to run for mayor, I've got to dress the pot. Well, where are the striped pants? Oh, my brother's wearing them. He's delivery boy for the meat market. Well, why don't you get the pants back for a moment? What, and have him get sunburned on his afternoon delivery? <laughs> well, come on and get busy. Now, we've got to finish packing. Now, I'm taking all my sporting equipment along. My old golf clubs, my old uh, baseball glove, and... Hey, by the way, have you seen my old bat? Yeah, I saw her last night in front of the plate. <laughs> Wait a minute. The bat I'm talking about was shellac. That's the one. <laughs> Come in. I'm the baggage man. Good. Take all this luggage down to the railroad station, please. Okay. Oh, oh boy, this thing is heavy. And what do you got in this old beer barrel? Put me down, you dope. 
<laughs> Here, baggage man. Take this trunk downstairs first, please. What? I'm not going to carry that big, heavy tank down those stairs. Ah, you don't have to. Just step into the elevator here. I'll open the door for you. Step in. Thanks. <laughs> you know, I always forget where I leave that elevator. <laughs> Hello, Luke Costello speaking. Mr. Costello, this is a Hollywood movie star, and I hear that I'm going back east on the same train with you. Gee. You are? Yes. And just remember, if you want anything, just whistle. Who is this? Lauren Bacall? No, Lassie! <laughs> well, come on, Costella. Come on, we better get down. Will you listen to me, please? Never mind her. We better get down to the station and get our tickets. Come on. Now, we got plenty of time. I want to say goodbye to all my friends. And I mustn't forget my little pets. I must say goodbye to my parrot. Goodbye, Polly. Goodbye. And my little goldfish, Minnie. Goodbye, Minnie. Ain't that cute? <laughs> and now I must say goodbye to Jack and Henry. Jack and Henry? Yeah, they're my two little rabbits. Goodbye, Jack and Henry. Bye, Bye. Bye. Oh, that Henry must have been Henrietta. Come on, Costello. Let's be on our way. Hey, let's stop here, Rabbit. This is where my girlfriend, Tessie Tinfoil, lives. Tessie Tessie, what have you done to your legs? Well, all the girls are wearing leg makeup And I want to be different Yes, but Tessie Striped wallpaper (laughs) Well, my little fat lover boy What brings you to my door with a suitcase? Well, I came to say goodbye, Tessie I'm leaving for the East tonight I'm going back to run for mayor of South Patterson. Oh, isn't that wonderful, Louis? <laughs> you and I should get married. I've always wanted to be a mayor's wife. But, Tessie, you're a little too old for me. Too old? I'm just on the shady side of 30. You've been in the shade too long. <laughs> You've got moss on your north side. <laughs> hey, look, Costello. There's the actress, Bessie May Mucho, driving up to the curbs here. Hello, Bessie! Hello, Mr. Albert and Mr. Costello. Where are you going with the traveling bog? Traveling bog? Oh, sure, Rabbit. You know what a traveling bog is. That's a small valise that you use to carry your hot water bottle and shaving sop. <laughs> shaving sop? Shaving sop. You smear it on your foos so the razor bleeds will shave off your wowskers. <laughs> Mucho, Costello is going back to his hometown in New Jersey to run for mayor. Can you imagine that? Oh, my, you're going that far away. Well, I must give you an appropriate farewell. Goodbye, my cute little Fartamon. <laughs> How do you like that? She cooshed me on the loops. <laughs> well, I must be going now. And an off wheat is saying in a bon voyage to you. And a stuffed weenie and some boiled cabbage to your tongue. <laughs> Well, Costello, you've got one more friend to say goodbye to. Let's stop and see Scotty. Hello, laddies. Say, Scotty, what's the idea of having all your window shades down in the daytime? The house is pitch dark. Well, my wife's father and mother came to visit me three nights ago. I've kept the house so dark, they still think it's the same night they got here. Is that good? It's wonderful. They've missed 11 meals already. (laughs) Hey, Scotty, I came over to say goodbye. I'm going back to my hometown in Patterson, New Jersey, to run for mayor. Oh, uh, would you be going through, Pomona? Uh Uh-huh. Would you mind dropping off the suitcase when you get there? What's in the suitcase, Scotty? My son, Angus. He's going to a Boy Scout camp. Well, how will a poor boy get home? Well, I took the needle out of his compass. Every year he gets lost in the mountains, and the searching party always brings him home. (laughs) Come on, Costello. We've We've got to get down to the railroad station. Hey, here's a cab now. Uh, pardon me, Cabby, are you engaged? Nobody, but I'm going steady. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, we want to catch the train for Patterson, New Jersey. Okay, jump in and I'll take you to the Union Station. <laughs> the Union Station. <laughs> the Union Station. <laughs> Union Station? Santa Fe Depot. <laughs> Come on, get us down to the station, please. Ah, uh, don't worry, I'll get you down there before you can say Jack Robin. <laughs> Jack Robin. <laughs> Jack Robin. <laughs> Robinson? Glad to know you, Robinson. My name is Smith. <laughs> Let's get this cab started. Okay, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, driver. This is 
Santa Fe Depot is only a few minutes from Hollywood. We've been driving for two hours. Yeah, the meter says $37. Now, uh, listen, fat boy, hold your tongue. Okay. <laughs> I can't do it. It's slippery. Oh, well, wise guy. Don't tell me how to drive this cab. I got a map right here on the floor by my feet, and that black line right there leads right to the Santa Fe Depot. Well, hurry up and get us there. Hey, driver, where in the world are you taking us? There! Look! Already over here, the thing is $68. Where's the Santa Fe Depot? Right here. Everybody out, Santa Fe Depot. Thank heavens. Come on. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't the Santa Fe Depot. That sign over there says Pismo Beach. Pismo Beach! Pismo Beach? Yes. Hey, I've got the map on the floor here by my feet. I've been following that black line. What black line? <laughs> How do you like that? My shoe came untied, and for the last two hours, I've been following my shoelace. <laughs> <laughs> Right at this moment in your presence is a great authority on cigarettes. Meaning, ladies and gentlemen, your T-zone. That's tea for taste and tea for throat. Let your taste judge the rich, full flavor of Camel's superb blend of costlier tobaccos. Let your throat give you its reaction to Camel's cool mildness. Like millions of smokers, perhaps you too will find that Camel is your favorite cigarette. Camel is a favorite, too, with many, many thousands of doctors. Three leading independent research organizations check the cigarette preferences of 113,597 doctors all over America. The cigarette most named was Camels. Yes? According to a recent nationwide survey, more doctors smoke Camels than any other cigarette. And here is Camels' lovely Amy Arnell with a song that says, Coax me a little bit, coax me a little bit, a little, 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 little bit. Coax me a little bit, coax me a little bit, if you want to be kid. I'll tell you what to say, here's what you got to say, pretty, 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 pretty please. I'm going to pout a bit till you give out a bit, and you really insist so, oh, oh. Chatter me with your flattery. You know the reason why I'm cheesy. What good is something that comes easy? Oh, oh, love is grand. If you understand, it all depends the way that you begin. How soon I'm in your arms. So coax me a little bit. Coax me a little bit. A little, 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 little bit A little, 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 little bit A little, little bit more Oh, oh, love is grand If you understand It all depends the way that you begin How soon I'm in your arms So coax me a little bit Coax me a little bit a little, 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 little bit. A little, 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 little bit. Coax me a little bit Come on, Costello. That taxi cab driver may dismiss our train. Now we've got to catch the next one. Hey, Abbott. Let's ask this guy at the information desk. Pardon me, young man. Could you tell me how the trains run? Uh, yes. There's a big black thing that pulls them. It goes choo-choo and woo-woo. <laughs> oh, this guy's been drinking too much of that traveler's aid. <laughs> no, no, young man. What time does the next train leave? Well, we don't know. We have a washout on the line. Well, why don't you take the wash off the line and let's go? <laughs> oh, never.
Never mind him. Let's go over to the ticket window. Come on. I've got to have a lower. You must get me a lower. You've got to get me a lower. Who are you? Oh, just an old pajama top. <laughs> Oh, come on. Here's the money, Costello. You get the tickets while I take care of the baggage. Uh, I'll, be, uh, I'll be right back. Go ahead. Well, I guess this is the line. Hey, you fat blimp. What are you trying to squeeze in here for? Excuse me. Get back at the end of the line. Excuse me. Oh, you stepped on my foot, you dummy. Why don't you put your foot where it belongs? Don't tempt me, brother. <laughs> Listen, I've got to get my tickets. The super chief will be leaving in a few minutes. Super chief, super chief, we'll be leaving on track four. Nothing happened. How do you like that? Every place you go, the Andrews sisters. Costello, Costello, you hear that? The super chief is ready for passengers. Where are the tickets? Well, I haven't got them. I have to stand in this line. You tell me that isn't a line for the ticket window. It isn't? I wondered why all those people were asking me if I had any nickels. <laughs> hey, that phone booth is awful busy. No wonder the phone booth is busy. Look who's in there. It's that French girl, Fifi LeBlanc. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, you guys stand back. This is mine. Oh, yeah? yeah. Come, Come here and kiss your poor old father. Get out. Phoebe, what are you doing here at the railroad station? I'm going to Kansas City to visit my aunt. Monsieur Costello, would you hold this package while I get the money for my ticket? I have the money right here in my stocking. My, my, the Bank of America never had branches like that. <laughs> Phoebe, Costello's going back east to run for mayor of South Patterson, New Jersey. Yes, Phoebe, I wish you could go back with me and help me with my campaign. You could ride around a big truck dressed in a bathing suit, and that would make a big hit with the men voters. Oh, how could I possibly appeal to the men in a bathing suit? Don't mind her, folks. She still plays hopscotch. <laughs> Monsieur, you did not mention how you liked my outfit. Oh, that's a lovely dress, VP. Uh -huh, I made it myself. I like to put some of my personality into each dress. Sister, you've got it all in that one. <laughs> What kind of a dress is that, Fifi? Fee V-neck. V-neck? Yes, V-neck. So do V. Come here and kiss your poor old father. <laughs> well, Monsieur Costello, I must be going anyway, so I will kiss you goodbye. Oh, yes, as long as you... <laughs> <laughs> Costello, will you hurry up? The train is ready. I can see the engine smoking. If you look again, you'll see it ain't the engine smoking. <laughs> Come on, Costello. Come on. <laughs> Costello, keep away from that. Fifi LeBlanc, will you please? We're next to the ticket office now. Come on, get up there. Hey, Abbott, look who's behind the ticket window. It's Melonhead. Why, Melonhead? I didn't know you were selling railroad tickets. I'll say I am, and what a madhouse. Oh, crowds, crowds, crowds. I'm about to blow my top. Looks like you've blown it already. <laughs> Now, listen here, Costello. I may not have any hair on my head, but I'll have you know I have plenty of hair on my chest. Oh, the OPA lo lowered your ceiling, too. <laughs> Costello, we're in a hurry, please. Hey, Melahead, we want two tickets for New York. Oh, going to New York, eh? Costello, are you going by Buffalo? No, we're going by train, you oh. <laughs> I know you're going by train. Tell me, do you want an upper or a lower? What's the difference? Well, if you want to go lower, you'll have to go higher. Because the lowers are higher than oh, the uppers. And the minute. uppers are lower wait than the lowers. Wait, wait, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! What page do you want? We did that before. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Melonhead. Can you get the two of us into a compartment? Well, I'm sorry, Abbott, but I only had one compartment for two people, and I had to put 12 sailors in it. How could you put 12 sailors into a compartment for two people? Tight pants. <laughs> <laughs> Melonhead, will you hurry up with those tickets? Costello's going to Patterson. Patterson? Costello, what is the purpose of this passage to Patterson? Will, uh, will you repeat that? I said, what is the purpose of this passage to Patterson? Are your parents expecting you? Hey, you must let me give you a shower bath sometime. <laughs> Do you want to go to Patterson by the northern or southern route? Well, I don't care as long as I go through Bashful Annie, Wyoming. Bashful Annie, Wyoming? Yeah, there it is right on the map there. That's the thing. Where? There. Where do you see Bashful Annie? There's Bashful Annie. Oh, excuse me. That's Cheyenne. Cheyenne. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Here's your ticket, boy. Come on, let's go, Costello. <laughs> 
Just a minute, boys, before you get on the train. How about a five-pound box of Hershey bars, ladies' girdles, pure nylon stockings, brand new pre-war tires, and fresh country butter? Oh, why? I'll buy some. Who's selling? I'm buying. <laughs> trains eh? leading for the north, trains leading for the south, trains leading for the east. How about the west? Terribly rough place, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, Costello, please. Red cap, red cap. Hey, fat boy, let me help you with that big bag. What big bag? My bags are on the train. Oh, pardon me, that's your stomach. Ha! <laughs> Come on, Costello, get on the train. Hey, look, what is that guy doing over there by the engine? Goodbye, old pal. You're the best pal I ever had. I love you, I love you. Hey, you, what's the idea of patting and kissing that engine? This engine has taken my wife back to Chicago. Yeah! <laughs> uh, conductor, we are Abbott and Costello. Fine, fine. We have a special car for you right here. Step right in. Are there any pretty girls aboard? I'll say. What calves? <laughs> Well, Costello, we're underway at last. We're off to Patterson. Gee, Abbott, it's crowded and stuffy in this Pullman. Yes, it's so dark in here you, you can't see anything. Yeah. Where are the girls? I want to look at those pretty calves. Where are you, girls? <laughs> Costello will be back with Camel Cigarettes in just a moment. And now, tonight's salute to the men in the armed forces who won through to victory. Tonight we hail the 7th Armored Division, heroes of Metz on Beat the Ruhr. Since the beginning of the war, the makers of camels have sent more than 150 million free camels to our fighting men overseas. But now, with demobilization in progress, free camels are sent to servicemen's hospitals instead. This week, the camels go to Veterans Hospital, Montgomery, Alabama, U.S. Army Halloran General Hospital, Staten Island, New York, U.S. Naval Hospital, Newport, Rhode Island, U.S. Marine Hospital, Port Stanton, New Mexico, and Veterans Hospital, Reno, Nevada, in your honor, men of the 7th Armored Division. out to the United States twice a week. Our rebroadcast to practically every area in the world where our men are stationed and to our good neighbors in Central and South America. And now here Bud Abbott and Lou Costello with the final word. Well, folks, we weren't kidding tonight on the level. Yes, folks, we're going back east to start the ball rolling for two new Lou Costello Jr. Youth Foundations for the underprivileged children. Yes, folks, next Thursday night we'll be broadcasting from New York. Oh, pardon me, gentlemen, I'd like to... Uh... Uh, wait a minute, who are you? Why, I'm just an average radio fan. Is it true that you're going to broadcast next week from New York? That's right. Is Bob Hope going to New York, too? Oh, no. You mean to tell me that you'll be telling jokes from New York and Bob Hope will be out here telling jokes from California? That's right. Heaven help the poor people in Kansas City. Good night, folks. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tune in next week for another great Abbott and Costello show brought to you by Camel Cigarettes. And remember, try camels in your tea zone. See if they don't suit your taste, your throat, to a tea. C A M E L S. Do pipe smokers appreciate choice tobacco, crimp cut to burn cool, specially treated to remove tongue bite? They certainly do. For Prince Albert is smoked in more pipes year after year than any other tobacco. Try Prince Albert in your pipe. You'll really notice the difference. Saturday night, be sure to listen to Prince Albert's Grand Ole Opry. You'll hear Red Foley, Grand Ole Opry's sensational new romantic singer. Remember, Grand Ole Opry, Saturday night on NBC with the Duke of Paducah, Minnie Pearl, and Red Foley. Be sure to listen at this very same time next week when the Abbott and Costello Show for Camel Cigarettes comes to you from Radio City, New York. Thursday night is another all-star night on NBC. Stay tuned for Rudy Valley over most of these stations. This is Ken Niles in Hollywood wishing you all a pleasant good night for Camels. This is NBC, the National Broadcasting Company.